How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be rebuilding the Atlanta Braves. But so before we talk about this team, my plans, anything like that, you know what to do. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new and enjoy the content. And also in the comment section, let me know some other teams you guys want me to rebuild. In my last video, I think it was towards the end of it, I said I wanted to start bringing two rebuilds a week. So I'm going to stick, you know, I'm going to actually stick to that. That way you guys can start seeing more rebuilds. I know you guys really want to see some more rebuilds. And... Um, putting two a week allows me to get through a lot more teams so put some teams down below with uh you know that you guys want to see some re so, you know that you want to see rebuild so um yeah i think that's it let's hop into this um i have a little bit of an idea of what i want to do but not too much so i normally don't do anything during spring training anyways i usually just simulate straight to the regular season so let's talk about this team really quickly so Looking at the team as a whole, there's a couple players I want to move on, like Anibal Sanchez and McCarthy. Um, I think it's Brandon. Yeah, Brandon McCarthy. Those two I, I want to move just because they are aging pitchers. And for the time being, I want to find like a fifth starter that I can just put there for a season or two while I let these other top 50 pitcher, like these top 50 prospect pitchers develop. So we got, like we have Gohara, we have Soroka, we have um, Allard, we have Wright. We even have Lucas Sims, and you can see we have pitching depth so that even if we are stuck and we are lacking some pitching or even another position player, we can trade some of some of these um, prospects for, you know, a, probably a pretty decent player right away. But um, with Teheran, Newcomb, Ful Fultinowitz, I'm probably saying that wrong, but you can see we got a pretty good starting pitching core. The relief pitching is definitely going to need some help. Um, I mean, outside of... Shane Carl, I don't really see anybody sticking around too long. Um, Vizcaino will probably stay as long as he does well and doesn't really have any issues. Catching, we might need somebody. I'm okay with keeping one of them and then moving on the other. First baseman, Freddie Freeman's not going anywhere. Ozzy Albies, not going anywhere. Ryan Flaherty is probably going to be leaving the, the, the team. I don't... I don't really see myself re-signing him. Johan Camargo, if he develops, he could be our third baseman. We also have Austin Riley. So we got two decent third basemen there for the future. Dansby Swanson is a player that you look at his stats and it just doesn't really intrigue me. You know, his fielding isn't amazing for a shortstop either in this game. Um, so maybe a shortstop is something that we need. Acuna. He's not going anywhere. We do have a couple decent backups there. Center field, Ender and Ciarte. He's a player where I'm okay keeping him, but at the same time, if we need to make a trade, you know, he'd probably be one of the players I'd look to move. And then in right field, I want to get rid of Nick Markakis. I know in real life he's having a phenomenal year, but looking at his stats here in the game for a sim style franchise, he's just not someone that really is going to do well for us. And he's 34, so he's going to start decreasing rating. So we're going to need a new outfielder, um, probably a third baseman, and then some pitching help. So right now, those are my main concerns. So let's see if we can uh, finagle something, find a little trade or two, and uh, I'll talk to you guys once we start getting these trades done. First trade we're going to be making is for Yimmy Garcia of the Dodgers. I think I've brought him in for previous rebuilds, but uh, for a 74 overall reliever, I think this is a pretty decent little pickup. We're getting rid of Brandon McCarthy and Anibal Sanchez. Plus, I said we do kind of need to help out the bullpen just a little bit so i think that's a good trade to start with Alrighty, so the next trade we're going to be making is avisel garcia from the white Sox. like i said we do need a new right fielder and um he does have c potential so it all really depends on if he stays at the same rating or develops a little bit but if he starts to decrease then it might be time to just use him as kind of a player to hold that right field position until we can somehow find a new one but i think with his stats, he should be okay. I mean, he's got a good arm, decent fielding, pretty good hitting stats. We're going to be getting rid of one of our lower rated players in William Contreras. And then as well as Kurt Suzuki, who's in the final year of his contract and he's 34. And I'm okay with letting him go because we do have another catcher in Tyler Flowers. And then in the right field spot, we have Nick Markakis, who's going to be moving. Um, basically getting rid of him and bringing in Avisel Garcia. So I'm okay with that trade. I know we're giving up a little bit more, but... 
I feel like adding a younger right fielder is probably the better option. So I found a relieving arm in Matt Strom from the Padres. 26 years old, B potential is 72 overall. He is in the final year of his contract, but his salary is under a million, so which is, it's not a bad trade. We are going to be getting rid of our lowest rated player in Braxton Davidson, a first baseman. And then Peter Moylan, who is our highest rated reliever, but he is 39, so he's going to be decreasing in value and um, rex brothers as well who we're not going to be using since we have erotis viscaino so i'm getting rid of two players who i probably or actually three players who i really weren't expecting to be around the club for that long so i'm okay with adding a new lefty into the bullpen this trade is probably going to be my last one for season one and it's it's a big one we are getting rid of i think two or one really highly rated like potential starting pitcher and a potential starting pitcher who's 23 66 overall but like i said we have gohara soroka allard and Wright. so you can see sims yes he's he's got potential but at the same time he's the oldest of our top pitching prospects so i'm okay with letting him go We're, we also have like fried uh weisler or Whistler. we have tookie toussaint so like we have other, we have Ian Anderson. So we have other prospects. We are getting rid of Joey Wentz as well. And then we're getting rid of another one of our lower rated players in Tyler Murphy, Taylor Murphy, sorry. But you can see who we're bringing in from the Oakland Athletics. We're bringing in Sean Minaya, who, or Minaya, it's Minaya, sorry. Sean Minaya, 26 years old, A potential, 86 overall. I am perfectly fine with letting go one of our better prospects for a bona fide ace like that's that's just a really good sale or not sale trade to make so i'm okay with that trade Alrighty, so this is how we're gonna line up for season one we got acuna um ender and crt freddie freeman's ozzy albies i'm not too sure why he's there um not a team with a lot of power but i feel like we should still do pretty well you can see the team here like i said acuna and crt albies freeman garcia Tucker, Flowers, and Dansby Swanson. Um, I'm still not sure why Ozzy's hitting hitting uh, fourth there, but that's the team. On the bench, we got Preston Tucker, Chris Stewart, Ryan Flaherty, and Tyler Flowers. I do want to get Yoan Camargo as many at-bats as possible. I want to see him start to develop, um, even though he's not as good against righties as he is lefties, but I still want him to get as many reps at-bats as possible. Pitching rotation, you can see... We're looking pretty solid here. Who's not supposed to be here? Give me. Um, we're we're look we're looking good now. I'm I'm feeling like this pitching wise, I feel pretty good about the squad. You can see the squad here: Manea, um, Teheran, Newcomb, Fultinowitz, or tell me how to pronounce his name. I know it's wrong. And then Gohara. The bullpen is probably our weakest part of the team. Alrighty, draft day. Let's hop into it. We have the eighth overall pick. Let's see who we go with here. The pick we're going to go with is the closing pitcher, Felix Guzman. I mean, 70s and 80s, basically all in his per nines. His velocity is pretty good. His control, it looks to be a pretty good closer. We're going to go with him. The next one we're going to go with is Bruno Salas, a right fielder who can also play second um, and all across the outfield. Good contact numbers, good plate vision and discipline, fielding, speed and stealing, along with reaction. He looks to be like a pretty good outfielder. So we're going to go with him as our second pick. So let's hop into our third pick and I'll see you guys then. I'm going to take a, a chance here with Jeffrey Matsumoto. Um, just look at his current versus projected. Like his projected stats look really, really good. So we're going to go with him. Alrighty, I looked at this guy last round and I'm going to take a chance with him. Cesar Tejada, 70 and 80, like 80 potential, 70 overall out of Colombia. He could be good. He could be bad. This is the last player I have fully scouted here. His stats don't look amazing, but I'll give him a shot um, just because I know what his stats are like for projected ones. So we're hopping into the last round. Um, it's going to be between these four players. Daniel Heiston, who, who looks okay. Um, Lon Johnson, who doesn't look that great. He does have a little bit of power, but not too much. Shane Robinson no and james jung you know what i'll take i'll just i'll take a chance with james jung he could be good he probably won't be but who knows so let's look at how we are um in terms of our draft picks see if they went good or not so this is our draft overall it's not too bad felix guzman 91 potential we will sign him up right away um 
those stats look crazy k's per nine look really good already his velocity is pretty solid pretty solid stats there bruno salas 88 overall potential his stats look good he's got speed stealing down already good contact versus lefties he looks like he could be pretty solid he's 65 overall now 71 overall for felix guzman so we look like we could have a potential new bullpen arm next year um jeffrey matsumoto he's 52 overall with a 74 potential so i mean like i said it's it's not a bad little arm to have for the future cesar tejada is another player i wasn't unsure i was like unsure about um the shortstop out of columbia he is 76 potential we'll sign him up you never know what could happen but his stats he's mostly a speedster um moving into Darius solis darren solis who was one of those players that i waited till the last couple of rounds to pick up he actually has got 86 potential so he looks to be a pretty good pickup later on in the in the draft you know velocity is good breaks good home runs per nine is pretty good already his k's per nine isn't bad and he's already a 70 overall and then james jung he's got 78 potential and he's 74 overall currently his stats aren't too bad definitely could be a little bit better but i'm not going to complain for a draft there so that's that's the draft we're going to sim till trade deadline day and see how we're sitting i feel like we may need to make a move or two based on what i'll show you guys at the trade deadline day at the deadline you can see we are having a rough year 42 and 63 25 games behind and uh, we're not even close in the wild card either i mean we're 14 and a half so we're having a really rough year um part of the reason was we lost uh mike fulton or whatever his name is. we're just gonna call him mike we lost mike for two months we also lost Acuna for two months but you can see pitching is having a bit of a rough time this season um, as well as the bullpen like I figured the pitching would have a little bit of a rough outing but I didn't think it would go this poorly um, the lineup you know we're not hitting bad like we're hitting most of our players are 250 and up um, it's just the pitching is really is really uh falling off so you can see the stats here um a player i'm keeping my eye on is avisel garcia he's down to an 82 so i might need to move him on while i can just because i feel like if he's going to continue to drop i don't really want to keep him on the squad and especially since we do have a couple center fielders who you know could develop nicely we do have christian pache or patch i don't know why i said pache it's probably patch yeah, Chris, or it could, yeah, it could be Pache because he is Dominican, but uh, we'll just say Patch for now. We do have Culberson, we have Preston Tucker, we do have Dustin Peterson, so we do have a couple players that could develop into someone nice in the outfield. Um, so maybe Avisel Garcia needs to be moved on, even though we just brought him in. Um, he's not having a poor season. I mean, he's hitting 244, six homers, 36 ribbies. He's almost at a 300 on base percentage. He's just going down in rating. Um, the player I'm looking at right now is Acuna. He's still going up. Um, he's only hitting 237 though. Another player I was keeping my eye on this year was Ozzy Albies. You can see he's up to a 90. So that's pretty good. Um, Dansby Swanson's up to an 80. He's hitting 264 on the year. So a little bit better than I expected. So uh, I mean, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far um, out of the team. It's just the results aren't there. Um, another player I'm liking the looks of is Austin Riley, who's up to almost a 70 um, in his first season. So you can see we just something's I mean, obviously the bullpen isn't clicking and neither is the starting pitching. So I feel like we need to add some stuff there. Um, even the youngsters aren't developing as quickly as I thought they would have. So I feel like it's going to be a grind until our pitching really develops into something nicely. Um, other than that, I don't know what to do right now. I might look to make a trade, um, but I'm not 100% sure. So if I do something, I'll show you guys. If not, I'll catch you guys at the end of the season. Alrighty, so at the deadline, I figured we do need bullpen help. So we're gonna we're gonna go to the Cardinals. We're gonna pick up Matt Bowman, who I recently used in a uh, a rebuild. And for B potential in 83 overall, he looks really good. He's having a solid season already. And um, we're picking up the fireball throwing Jordan Hicks who's got B potential and he's almost a 70 overall as you can see his ERA is pretty high and he's already he's still developing so if we throw him in the minors for a season or two he could be a really good reliever for the future um, with that being said we are getting rid of Rio Ruiz who is B potential and he looks to be developing quite nicely but with Johan Camargo and Austin Riley developing 
just as fast if not faster i'm perfectly fine letting go of one of our prospects we're getting rid of another player we recently acquired in Avisel garcia who you can see is just decreasing and then we're getting rid of one of our lower rated players in uh, Israel Wilson. So for two relievers who I think are definitely going to help us for the future, I think this is a really good pickup for us. I thought Avisel Garcia would have panned out a little bit better, but it just didn't turn out that way. We do have um, Culberson and Tucker who can cover us in the right field spot along with Acuna for the rest of the season so i'm perfectly fine with the way we're sitting right now you can see at the end of the season we finished 73 and 89 so we had a little bit better of a um second half but just wasn't wasn't there we uh we struggled throughout the whole season freddie freeman was our only award winner pitching wise you can see sean manea really turned it around the second half newcomb um, Teheran, Fultonowitz, and Chase Whitley, who I moved into this spot. It actually should have been Matt Whistler that should have been there, but um, that's okay. It, I guess it didn't really matter too much. You can see the bullpen did okay. Bowman's up to an 85, which is great to see. Uh, Vizcaino had a pretty solid season. He had 43 saves, and he had six blown saves, but that's okay. Matt Bowman still did pretty well he's up to an 85 yimmy garcia we moved him to the setup role and he looked to like kind of rebound there and it, it seemed like besides freeman and whistler the bullpen turned it around and then our makeshift pitcher and chase whitley seemed to do decently if he had under a three era so overall it looked like the pitching really started to pull together the second half of the season you can see ender and Ciarte hit 281 um, Dansby Swanson hit 270 so a lot better than I expected he's up to an 82 so if he continues to develop like this and play like this I'm gonna keep him around Freddie Freeman's a 90 he hit almost 300 and um, that's good to see I really like those numbers Ozzy Albies is a 91 so I like those numbers as well Preston Tucker did okay in his kind of like makeshift outfield DH role Acuna is up to an 85 um, so if we can get his batting average up he will definitely be a really good player for the future Tyler Flowers has actually gone up, which is good to see for a 32-year-old catcher. Ryan Flaherty was playing right field for us. Um, he hit 265. And I did bring up that um, a potential third baseman, Austin Riley, because Johan Camargo was out for about a month and a half. So I figured might as well bring him up and give him a shot. And Austin Riley in his you know limited appearances hit 217. So, I mean, he didn't do horrible um but you know obviously it could have been a little bit better and you can see the rest of the team there so overall we're looking pretty solid you're probably thinking what i did with luis gohara um just because his season wasn't going too great i figured let's throw him into the minors for the rest of the year see if he can develop a little bit quicker and be ready for next season so you can see soroka gohara allard and wright are still developing i don't know if they'll be ready for next year soroka might be um, I'm not too sure about that. He might be ready for next year, but we'll have to wait and see. Tuki Toussaint is another player that I'm really looking at. He is developing quite quickly. So um, outside of that, I moved Strom back to the minors just to see if he would develop and kind of gain back that overall that he initially had. And you can see he kind of did. And there's a couple other players that I'm keeping my eye on in the minors. Jordan Hicks is still a 69. Jesse Biddle is another player I've been watching. And um, AJ Minter was another player I've been watching. So outside of that, um, I'm not too sure. Alex Jackson's a B potential catcher. He could be okay for the future, but um, we'll, we'll have to see. Preston Tucker, Charlie Culberson are okay. Christian Patch, Pache, he's up to a 66. And outside of that, that's kind of where we're at. Pitching is really where we're keeping our eye on in terms of our prospects. So we're just going to advance through the postseason see who wins the world series the nationals defeated the astros so let's hop into the offseason and get this going because um we kind of we kind of need to figure this out we kind of need to figure out what we're going to do with this braves team and turn it around since our first season was pretty rough it was pretty rough the only offer we're going to be giving for our exclusive negotiations is tyler flowers a four million contract um per year for five years i know he's 33 he probably won't last the full five years of being a solid catcher but that's okay i'm pretty cool with him staying around based on how he performed this year for arbitration the players that i did offer stuff was Manea, bowman uh mike 
Culberson, Garcia, and Vizcaino. Everybody else is players that are actually I offered Winkler and Whitley as well just because I think they could be decent little bullpen arms if someone does get hurt. The rest of the guys I'm perfectly fine walking for contracts. This is where it's going to get a little little difficult because they're you know you can see these these three up here along with Sean Newcomb who could could cost us a pretty penny so we'll see what we can do with these alrighty so actually the contracts weren't that bad Ozzy Albies wants four million over two years Acuna wants two years as well Dansby Swanson wants two years um, Sean Newcomb wanted two years um, and then everybody else was kind of players that we were gonna bring back like Jordan Hicks um, Kobe Allard um, Strom Gohara um, and those are kind of the big ones Kyle Wright um, so we brought back most of the prospects and um, players I figured that would at least play a role in the club for the future. The trade I'm making before the season is Brent Suter is going to be joining us. A lefty with some stamina. We needed a new lefty in the bullpen. And we're getting rid of that one that we drafted in James Jung, the reliever, along with two um, okay pitching you know, prospects. C potential and also B potential. So those are the players we're going to be trading for Brent suit so this is how we're gonna line up for the year in Ciarte Swanson Freeman Albies Tucker Acuna Flowers Riley and Camargo um, on the bench we got Colberson Jackson and Isaiah Kinner kind uh, Isaiah Kiner Falefa um, of the Rangers from last year looks to be just like a good utility player to have on the bench so that's gonna be the squad for the season um, I think we should do a little bit better and looking at the pinching we got Sean Minea Nukem, Mike, Teheran, and we um, we brought from free agency my, Matt Andrees. Um, if it does not, you know, if it doesn't go well, I'll just move him on. I feel like that's just the smart thing to do. Let some of the prospects develop a little bit more before we bring them up. You can see the squad is looking like this in the bullpen as well. Bowman, Yimmy, Vizcaino. We got Strom. We got Jordan Hicks, who I hope continues to develop. Winkler, Suter. Who we just traded for and Whitley um, so let's let's get into it I feel like we actually have a team that could do something this year and that's how that's how we're gonna do for season two let's hop into it let's just keep going see how it goes I'll catch you at deadline day I'm gonna let the CPU handle dr uh, the draft and uh, hopefully it goes well already at the deadline we're gonna look at how the CPU drafted and you can see they got some pretty good ones Leo Casilla um 47 overall 80 or 94 potential will mcmahon 61 overall 90 potential um 83 potential for richard dalton with a 73 overall so next year he could definitely make an impact thomas st john 70 overall with an 83 potential so overall they did pretty good this picture looks really solid already and let's see how we are in the standings we're sitting in first 57 and 52 half game up of the mets um, let's see how this squad is playing. You know, Sean Manea, 88 overall. He's doing pretty solid. Sean Newcomb is okay. Julio Teheran's currently on a cold streak, but he has a pretty solid ERA, so he must be doing pretty good. Mike was actually hurt for quite some time, and he actually gets hurt quite often. So I'm I'm keeping my eye on him. He might be, be needed to be moved. We moved Andres down because he was he was struggling. So we brought in Luis Guajara, and he's having an okay year. Let's check the bullpen. Whistler, Weisler, however you want to pronounce his name, is doing pretty good in the long relief spot. Suter's doing okay. He's sitting at 10 and 4 with a just under a 4 ERA. Winkler's having having a tough go of it. So he might he might need to go down. Jordan Hicks, he's he's developing, but his stats are okay. Jesse Biddle's moved up and he's he's had a tough, you know, a tough couple innings. Yimi Garcia is killing it. And so is Matt Bowen, Bowman and Vizcaino. The lineup is currently looking like this. 281 for Enciarte is nice to see. 324 for Freeman. Tucker's hitting 260. Acuna's 256, but he's 87 overall now. Wow. And you can see the team here. It's looking pretty good. Looking, looking pretty solid. At the trade deadline, I'm going to leave the squad how it is. I'm going to see how we do for the rest of the year. And then let season three kind of be that quick sim add what we need and see if we can win a world series if we don't win one the second time so let's let's get this going see how we do in the second half of the season as you can see we are going to the playoffs in season two we finished 85 and 77 we'll be taking on the brewers let's go see how we finish this season we finished two games above the nationals and the mets 
and um, awards we had the Hank Aaron award for Freddie Freeman and some gold gloves so you can see the team was starting to develop quite nicely OPS for Freddie Freeman was the only league leading thing that we had for the squad you could see bullpen wise still kind of struggled a little bit definitely struggled a little bit Jordan Hicks not too bad 291 and he's up to a 77 overall but the bullpen needs a little bit of work on uh shamanea 16 and 7 went pretty well newcomb uh mike Teheran, and gohara so overall maybe it's time to bring up soroka maybe it's time to start using some of these younger pitchers to you know in in the actual like majors maybe it's time to actually use them um so this the bullpen is still kind of struggling it's it's definitely definitely struggling a little bit um we do have those prospects that are developing looking at the lineup you can see in crt 289 swanson hit 260 so i think it was a little bit yeah about the same he did add some more homers but he hit about the same as last year and his on base percentage was down a little bit too in crt hit better than last year and his on base percentage was better albies hit 260 which was about the same as last year he did add more homers and his on-base percentage was about the same. Freddie Freeman hit 315, more homers, more ribbies. So he seemed to, uh, but he didn't hit 100 ribbies. That's kind of disappointing. Preston Tucker's doing okay. Acuna's 86 overall. Tyler Flowers, Austin Riley, and Johan Camargo. Let's see what Acuna did compared to last year. So he hit better than last year, added some more ribbies and homers. On-base percentage went up quite a bit as well. So overall, the team looks pretty solid. Um, I don't think we'll do too good in the playoffs just based on we barely made it into the playoffs and the the pitching is just really lackluster right now i feel like next season once everyone develops we'll be in a really really good spot so let's just get through these playoffs and season three is the season where i'm thinking we we really should be set and we should win a world series we are taking on the brewers Manea gets us not the good start newcomb we do get the second second game win we're down to we've been eliminated that quickly it looks like Jordan Hicks lost us the game and like I said I, I didn't think we were, we were gonna do too great in the uh, in the playoffs and it, di it didn't go that great so uh, let's just the Angels defeated the Diamondbacks okay well let's get into the offseason Alrighty, for our two exclusive negotiations, 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 you can see the offers here. Pretty big contracts, um, but Vizcaino has been pretty good throughout the year. Um, but throughout both years, you can see like his his stats have actually been pretty solid. 40 saves for both years. Julio Teheran's still developing, so he could definitely be a solid, solid um, option for our starting rotation. We are we are gonna need a new manager but that that yeah i already knew that was coming arbitration already arbitration has been offered to everybody except for winkler and whitley moving into the, the contracts it's going to be mostly prospects which is great because they're usually pretty cheap so i'm going to go through these really quick and uh i'll tell you what we do Alrighty, so we offered these contracts base basically to anybody that was uh, a b or a potential um and then Christian is dropped potential, unfortunately, which is a, a little sad to see. Alrighty, a big trade we're making to begin season three is we're bringing in Vlad Guerrero Jr., um, 86 overall. We are giving up a lot, and we are giving up one of our top prospects in Colby Allard. Um, but we have Gohara and Soroka still, and you can see how the squad is looking. Like the starting rotation is looking strong. Um, another player we're getting rid of is that Austin Riley, who is actually starting to develop nicely. But also, Johan Camargo can be that backup. And with Vlad Guerrero Jr. coming in, I'm perfectly fine with making this trade. I feel like we're, we are on a little bit of a budget, and bringing in a player that has a rookie contract still is really going to help us because that allows us to bring in this player. Like we're allowed to bring it in, bring him in because he has such a low contract. So that's the one trade I'm looking because I, I thought we needed a little bit more power in the lineup, and he definitely has that. Along with that. You know we kind of did need a better third baseman the only other thing i'm looking at is we kind of do need another outfielder we do have tucker and colberson but they haven't really done much for us um and then maybe one more bullpen arm so the only way i think we can do that is if we trade one of our like crazy good 
pitching prospects. So the trade we're making is Jeff Farrell and uh, Max Fried, another one of those pitching prospects that we do have. And in return, we're getting Alex Claudio, a player I know I do trade for quite a bit. But he's just one of those players that is kind of easy to pick up for. And he's a lefty, and we kind of need another good lefty arm. The bullpen is looking a lot more solid. Um, I really wish we could find a new um, righty that we could put in the like bullpen instead of Andres, who is a starter. Um, but other than that, like the team's looking pretty solid now. We got Manea, Nukem, Mike, Teheran, and Gohara. Um, we do have a lot of lefties, which is may be a problem for sim style. I, I haven't really thought about it like that. The the lineup looks like this with the addition of Vlad Jr. Now, like it actually looks a little, it look, actually looks a lot better. Like you know, adding. Wait, wait, wait! I didn't want to do that. Adding another like power bat makes this look just this team looks a lot a lot more intimidating um i hate that they keep putting albies here in the fourth spot why why he doesn't have that much power you know he does have it versus lefties but not necessarily versus everything else so this is gonna be the squad now you can see it it looks pretty solid um the catcher spot is a little bit weak but that's okay i feel like this is this is a better looking team now um if we need to at the deadline day we can definitely make another trade because we do still have these prospects down here um but otherwise i think we're looking pretty solid now i'm like i'm feeling actually pretty comfortable with what we could do this season at the deadline we are one game behind the nationals and we hold a three-way tie for the wild card spot our draft picks currently look like this they don't look that good so i'm just gonna I'm going to let them go. Probably also because this is one of this is probably the last season. You can see Manea pretty good. Nukem having a little bit of a rough year. Um, he's still got the winning record, but like his ERA is pretty high. Mike is doing decent. Teheran is having a pretty good year. He might be our number two now. And then Gohara is having an, eh, an okay year. Suter is having a lot better year. And Dries is actually not doing too bad in that spot. Jordan Hicks is up to an 80 overall. Strom, oh man, he's killing us. Um, Yimi Garcia is doing eh. Claudio is doing pretty good. Vizcaino's doing pretty solid there. And Bowman's looking nice as well. Let's. Alrighty, so I figured out the relief. I sent Strom down. But Inciarte is a 90 now. He's hitting 326. Swanson's an 86. Albies is a 99. Freeman is a 95. You got Preston Talker, who's an 80. Acuna is an 86. Guerrero's an 88. I don't know why he's hitting so low here. Um, Tyler Flowers and then Camargo, and you can see the bench over here. Let's figure out why you know we got Vlad hitting so low. I don't know. I don't know about this. But you know what? We're looking solid. Our lead, our home run leader is Freeman with 33 at the like at the deadline day. That is insane. So. So trade that we're making at the deadline is is something kind of crazy. Juan Soto, the uh, originally of the Nationals, now at the Rays. Uh, 85 overall left fielder. We have now have a new outfielder. We're getting rid of Kenny Burris, and then our top again two of our top prospects. I know it's pretty crazy to do, but I feel like our pitching is pretty solid right now, and we've been kind of lacking that outfielder. So now Juan's now we have Juan Soto there. I know Preston Tucker is finally like an 80 overall, so it kind of doesn't make too much sense to bring in um, Juan Soto. But at the same time, it's like it's not a bad idea. You know what I mean? We always could use a little bit more power, and Juan Soto definitely has some power that we could we could use. So um, Juan Soto, we'll put him in right. He does have the arm to actually play there. Like 82 arm isn't bad. Um, and then that way we're I think we're looking pretty set um, the rotation I I kind of feel like Vizcaino could be moved on for just like a normal reliever now just because I feel like Vizcaino is kind of having a down year he's decreasing so maybe I'll trade him see what I can do there alrighty so since we had so many like top closers for like potential wise I feel like we can get rid of one and we're gonna be adding a pretty good arm in Drew's Familia He's having a pretty solid year overall. We're going to be getting rid of Vizcaino and Thomas St. John for Drew's Familia. And uh, now I think we're looking good. Like, look at this 
look at this squad like we are i feel like this is a team that we definitely could cause some damage going forward so i'm looking forward to see what we can do and uh i'm i'm feeling pretty good so i'm gonna you know i'm gonna simulate to the uh end of the year and it, we, sh we should be set like i feel like i'm kind of at a loss for words because i don't i don't really know what to say but i feel like we're we're looking good like we're looking really good so let's do this let's uh let's into the rest of the the end of the season hopefully make the playoffs and win a world series so you can see we were 92 and 70 and we made the postseason as a wild card team we're gonna be taking on the phillies so let's see we finished two games out hmm Hmm, so MLB league leaders, Freddie Freeman in homers and batting average, Inciarte with hits, and then Freddie Freeman with runs scored, and Freddie Freeman with slugging percentage. So Freddie Freeman hit 341, Inciarte was right behind him. Okay, I like to see that. What else? Hits was Inciarte and Freeman. Okay, like by a good amount. That's That's crazy. Um, Inciarte had at bats, doubles, Freeman and Inciarte. What? Dansby Swanson had 10 triples. Freeman had the most homers. Freeman had three less ribbies than Rizzo. You can see Inciarte and Freeman had a lot of runs as well. Stolen bases, Inciarte had 23. Walks, Dansby Swanson had 91. Freeman's on base, like Freeman had a crazy good year. Silver Slugger to Freeman, MVP to Freeman. Freddie Freeman had the Hank Aaron Award, gold gloves to Freeman and Acuna, and Matt Bowman won Delivery Man of the Year. So Freeman only hit nine homers in the second half of the season, like after the All-Star game, which is crazy. Um, so let's see how pitching did. That's my main concern. Soroka, okay. 3-0. and Manea is 15-5, or 15-7 and with an under a 3 ERA, which is like crazy good this season at this like this era of baseball Teheran played like pitch pretty well Newcomb okay not not what I expect Soroka did really well um once I brought him up at the trade deadline and Mike is 11 and 11 overall it seems as though the bullpen did okay let's see how many saves were blown here five mm. Okay, okay, okay. But overall, not too bad. 320 for Inciarte is good. 264 for Swanson. Okay, Albies did pretty solid. 33 homers. Vlad Guerrero hit 275 in his year with the Braves. Acuna two hit 253. Juan Soto's a 90. What? Tyler Flowers is a 79. And Preston Tucker's. Okay, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm liking what I'm seeing. So we're going to be playing the Phillies. You can see the playoff picture right here. Let's let's hop into this. Let's win this. Let's take on the Nationals. All right, since this is a one-game elimination, we're just going to simulate it. We are playing in Philly. We're going to let Manea take over. We're facing a righty. Mm-hmm. Okay. I feel good about this. All righty. Ozzy Albee starting in us off. Freddie Freeman do. Oh, thrown out at home. That's okay. That's all right. We did get the early run and we get out of that. So first and third. Mm. Sack fly. I'll take it. We get a run home. Okay. Bring home another. Bases loaded. Freddie Freeman. Unlucky. Unlucky. We do get the double play there and we get out of that inning too. So, so far, so good. Three, nothing. Three to one. So it's still three to one. Okay, double to start the inning. Maybe bunt him over to third. Get a little ooh two outs now. Dansby Swanson can't bring him home. I try to get the sack fly. Didn't work. Ozzy Albie's on first. Freddie Freeman brings him home. Okay. Guerrero Jr. Then Acuna. Oh man. Sean Manea just got a double. What? That's crazy. Okay, I feel good. Manea's still pitching pretty good. I'm gonna let him go. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna. That was his last inning. I feel like that's that's the time for me to bring him out. Tyler Flowers, double play. Okay. 
we're gonna make a pitching change we got a righty lefty and then probably a pinch hitter i want to see how jordan hicks does the cardinal in real life the cardinals like top prospect for pitching right now even though he's doing quite well so he went one two three we're gonna pinch hit for him um i guess colberson will come in face a righty and Ciarte singles Dansby Swanson strikes out and then we get out of that so we got a pitching change needed probably just bring in the lefty Biddle okay we need a pitching change apparently Yumi Garcia gets us out of the inning okay one run allowed but you know what we got it right back who he's thrown out at home we got it right back though um I'm gonna let Yumi go again Okay, maybe I'm not going to let Yimmy go. I'm going to let Yuri's Familia get the last out. And there we go. We're taking on the Nationals. Really, really solid game. Yimmy Garcia let me down a little bit there. But definitely a really good game by everybody. Like, that. that's what I want to see going into these games versus the Nationals. Let's get it started. Alrighty, game one. We take a 3-2 to two victory. Ooh, we did lose the second one. We won this one. This is the elimination game if we win it. Alrighty, so we are going to quick manage this one. Come on, Sean Minea. Let's do this. We're taking on Joe Ross. We should, we need the victory. Like, we, we obviously we need the victory here. But uh, we got our ace versus not their ace. So, Vlad, okay. We're just, we're not, we're not. Okay, we only got one hit. They have three. So, a walk. We'll bunt them over. Inciarte grounds out. Swanson strikes out. Unfortunate. Okay. Hmm. Single. Acuna doubles home the run. Acuna. Okay. Hmm. Right back in it. Okay. Mikey Modic. How is he gonna do that to us? Hmm. Now they're up. They're up two to one. Can we get the run back, Vlad? No. All right. Manea, give me at least one more inning. Okay. Acuna. Soto. Come on. We traded for you at the deadline. Double. Okay. Tyler Flowers. Okay. We're going to we're gonna let the bullpen take over for us. Culberson's going to ground out. Okay. That's okay. We're going to let the bullpen come in. We got righty. A bunch of righties. We'll let Andres come... Andres, you gotta be kidding me. Jordan Hicks. Okay, we get out of that. Guerrero. Acuna. Okay, okay. Soto. An error first and second. <sighs> Extra innings. NCRJ. Oh, Swanson. There we go. There we go. The game was blown open. Pitching change. Where is he? Bowman, come in. Do what you do best. Close it out. Tyler Flowers came in the clutch with the two-run homer in the seventh. And then we just opened it up in the tenth there. That is awesome. Okay. And we're going to be taking on the Dodgers. Let's do this. Alrighty, game one to Heron Kershaw. We lose. Nukem Urias. We lost again. Soroka gets us on the board. There we go. Ace versus ace now. Elimination game. All right. Can we take it to a game seven? Okay, there we go. Freeman. Yes. One early run. That's what I'm talking about. A walk to Heron. Can you get you to Heron? Helping himself out. And we get... Okay, okay. I like to see that. Single Acuna. Unfortunate. All right. All righty. Okay. Teheran's two for two. Are you kidding me? You got to be kidding me. Swanson double. Albies. Freeman. Someone drive him home. All righty. Acuna, Soto, Flowers. Mmm. We're gonna let we're gonna let three for three for the pitcher. Are you kidding me? 
Ozzy Albies makes it 4 0. Okay, okay. Fielder's choice. Mm, gets out of it. Okay. Acuna walks. Soto lines out. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna pinch it here. We're gonna bring in We're bringing Tucker. He pops up. Alrighty. What are we what are we coming up against? A righty. Okay, okay. We're gonna let we're gonna let Familia come in. All right, I was worried. You let you got the single, so you never know what's gonna happen there. Okay, pitching change. Just not taking any chances here. And Bowman gets us out. Okay, to Heron four hits over seven innings, nine Ks, and was three for three on the day hitting. That dude carried us to a victory. Now we're going into this game, game seven. Let's do it already inciarte swanson and Al albi is okay keeps the inning alive gets out of it okay whoo we get a single okay and a walk newcomb can you be like taharan no you cannot <laughs> hitting wise at least come on get us out of here there we go inciarte swanson okay albies walks freddie freeman can you be clutch right now please Yes, you can. Guerrero strikes out. Acuna doubles home a run. That's okay. That's one. That's a two-run lead. Okay, Soto singles. Flowers. Let's bunt him over. And then Inciarte doubles home the run. It works perfectly. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Freeman walks. Guerrero. Dude, we, we're, doing, we're doing wonders here. Lines out. Okay, not so good. An error. Sack fly brings home a run. That's all we need. Can Newcomb do it? He can't. That's okay. A double to lead it off. Not what I want. And a walk. Not 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 too great. One out. Two outs. Brings home a run. We still got two outs. Mm-hmm. Pitching change time. Who are we facing? A righty. Andres does it. Okay. And Ciarte triples. Sack fly. We need the run. We need the run. We're up two now. Fielder's choice. Strikes him out. Stolen base, and we get out of the inning. Perfect. Guerrero grounds out. One, two, three inning. Not what I want. There we go. Get the out. Flowers. Strikes out. We're going to pinch hit. We need... I don't know why I brought in Tucker. He got hit, though. Double play. All righty. Eighth inning. What do we got here? Lefty, righty, lefty. Claudio. Single, but we get out of the inning. There we go, Alex Claudio. That's what I'm talking about. And then there's only one man for the job. Bowman, one run lead. Yes, we're going to the World Series. That's what I'm talking about. We're taking on the Yankees. All right, Braves, Yankees, let's do it. All righty, just so you can see the roster for the Yankees, they've got Severino, who's a 98, Montgomery, who's an 83, Domingo Germain, I think that is, who's an 88. Um, I think that's who it is. I can't really see. Um, Tanaka's an 85, and then they got a rookie who's an 82. Oh, wait, I wanted to show you the lineup as well. Um, you can see Ellsbury. Torres, Glaber Torres is a 91, Judge is a 98, John Carlos is a 97, 87 is Gary San or 89 is Gary Sanchez, 84 is Kyle Seeger, and Duhart. They have Joey Gallo as well. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Um, I should have checked my rotation. See if we're we're like having ace versus ace. Which we can. So I'm gonna rotate that around. Alrighty, game one, Sean Minea versus Sevi. We get the eight to one victory. That's what I'm talking about. Teheran Montgomery, 15 to eight. Yes, Newcomb Gosman. Are we gonna sweep the Yankees? Three, nothing. Let's quick manage the last game. We have to. We are in Atlanta for this one. And we got Mike or Soroka. Ooh, we'll let, we'll let Mike go for this one. And the lineup is staying the same. One, two, three inning, okay. Ozzy 
Albies delivering there with the two out bomb. Guerrero. Okay, so Acuna gets a single. Soto flies out and Flowers singles. So we at least get the pitcher up there. He gets thrown out at home, unfortunately. Okay, okay. And Ciarte grounds out. A single. Ozzy, can you do it again? Oh, he's thrown out at home. But that's okay. Freddie Freeman brings him home. And we're doing pretty good. Pretty good so far. Acuna, Soto, Flowers, single. So again, the pitcher gets up. Perfect. First hit of the day for the Yankees comes in the fourth. Can he get us out of this? He can. There we go. Keeps the, sh the shutout going. That's what I'm talking about. Alrighty. Can we get a base runner? We do. Another one. Flies out. Hmm. Seventh inning. Alright. Pitching change. Um... Jordan Hicks, fielder's choice, sack fly. They brought home a run, single, strikes him out. Okay. Um, we'll let Tucker go. Singles, okay. Another single. Albies, can you do it again? You can. Yes, that's one, dude. Ozzy Albies has like attributed for all three runs today. All right, we need a pitching change. We're gonna let. Familia take over in the eighth. And he gets us out of the eighth. That's what I'm dude. We are killing it right now. Jury's familiar. We're gonna pinch hit. Might as well add to it. We're gonna let oh I didn't want Mesoraco to do it. In Ciarte. We're coming in with Bowman now. One out. A single. A fly out. And that means we're going to enter the game for the last out of the World Series. Alrighty, Joey Gallo is up. Let's see how it goes. Not the best of starts. Okay, not the best of starts. There we go. We get the first strike. Alright, let's, let's, let's hit him with the splitter again. You know what? I'm feeling it. He doesn't want it. Okay. Alrighty. Two seam up and in to Joey Gallo. He goes after it. Last strike. We're going with the slider. Down and in. Ooh, he fouls it off. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Runner on first. Will the splitter get him? There we go. The Braves are World Series champions. And I feel like this was one of those that was realistic, but also non-realistic. We did let the prospects develop. We did let certain players develop we had Acuna we had Albies we had some of those pitching prospects that we used for trades um, we tried to let the third base prospect of Austin Riley develop but unfortunately it didn't work out as you know as quickly as I would have hoped um, but this team is really good they've got some really good pieces if you're looking for a really long um, franchise to do um, like I said they've got a lot of good pitching They've got Camargo, they got Austin Riley, Acuna, Albies, Freddie Freeman, um, and Ciarte is a good center fielder. Um, and they, they definitely have some pieces that makes this a really fun team to do. Um, with the additions of Juan Soto that we added, they still have we still were able to keep Soroka um, and a, a bunch of other like really good draft picks that we have. So I think this is one of the better teams that I've set up for the future. Um, just because we have young pitching. Um, in the starting rotation, we have a young core with um, Freeman's not that old. We still have Albies, Soto, um, Acuna, Dansby Swanson. We have Vlad Guerrero at third. Like we have a really, 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 really good team here. And for the future, I think this is one of the better teams that I've set up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Braves rebuild. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button down below. I think my game froze. Um, oh, okay, finally, <laughs> it finally left. Um, Acuna, two RBIs and two runs. That that's that's clutch right there, along with Ender and Ciarte, who got two RBIs. So let's look at the team real quick and uh, see how we're set up for the future. So Dansby Swanson was the playoff MVP, and the uh, World Series MVP was Tyler Flowers. Okay, who hit 667 with two homers. Um, lineup wise, NCRT actually didn't play that well. Um, but everybody else did pretty pretty good like really well pitching wise 
um newcomb got rocked a little bit Manea a little bit as well Suter a little bit um biddle yeah and yimmy but everybody else was pretty lights out pretty good overall so looking at the team for the future you know we have gohara still um we have this guy that we signed in free agency i guess um we got tuki toussaint we got rid of a lot of the pitching prospects but we're still set like Minea's 28 Taheran's 29 newcomb's 26 soroka's 28 mike's 28 gohara's 23 like we're set for the future bowman's 28 claudio's 28 biddle's 28 hicks is 23 like this is we're set um we got all these closing pitcher prospects that are really good catcher will probably need a new one in the future first baseman freddy is 30 um i forgot we're three years in at this point but he's still got a good couple years left ozzy's not going anywhere guerrero dansby soto and acuna ender inciarte is under 30 we got bruno salas who's a 74 so like this team's set for the future obviously contracts are definitely going to be put into play at some point it's going to make it difficult to hold on to everybody but this is a team i really liked creating um the first two seasons were a little bit of a struggle but this this team right here is really really good so i hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild if you did hit that like button subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and i'll catch you all in the next video peace